are watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Fancy waking up in your early 30s to discover that the woman that you'd known to be mom all your life isn't really your biological mom. Yes, that's the story of my guest today on Inspired Success. Don't touch that remote, we'll be right back because we're gleaning wisdom from our mothers. See you in a second. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success from the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. This is Princess Bola Adelani welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success and at work and in life. Yes, can you imagine, just fancy, mm -hmm. fancy waking up at 30 something and only to discover that um, the woman that has raised you that you've called mom all your life, you know, um, is not your biological mom. You know, what's with that? Why the secrecy? What, what happened? You know, that is the life story of my guest. This is no fiction. This is no fiction. This is real, true life story of my guest, Miss Lorna Little, which, who is no stranger to Inspire Success and to the greater Hartford community. And so welcome to Inspire Success, Lona. Thank you very much, Princess Bola, for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a real pleasure. Yeah, that is your story. Yes. That is your life story. And But there's so much wisdom to glean with, from it, you yes. know, especially, you know, this month being uh, Mother's Day yes. month and all of that. And it's a time we celebrate motherhood and all that. And it doesn't come with a handbook, you no, know. No, it and, does not. But they say we, um, hindsight is twenty twenty. So true. And so we, you can look back and your life story can help somebody else, can help a mother, you know, can help somebody else yes. with their parenting skills, you know, and, and, and so on and so forth. As well as that you're a professional um, therapist, a social yes, worker, social right? Worker. Yes. yes. I, and you work with young mothers. Yes, I'm so the, the executive director of St. Agnes Group Home. Yes, yes, you are. And, um, you know, so there's so much wisdom to glean here, but let us, let us backtrack. Let okay. us come back to your story first. I know it's very personal, which you have captured in a book, actually. Lorna has cap captured it in a book called Mom's the Word which you can find at momstheword.com. You, you go check it out. So tell us how, just tell our viewers, you know, how you came to this realization, um, you know, and how it kind of affected you and, and the lessons, the wisdom that you can glean um, from your story. Yes, I know. It's funny how you started out saying this is definitely fact, not fiction. Um, yes. You know, the story, my book, my life, um, up until this revelation in the early 30s would read as something very plain and you know nothing major you know yes. some highlights don't get me wrong I've yes. done some great things but yeah it was a normal existence mm. and uh, then all of a sudden to be uh, applying for a birth certificate and a passport because mm -hmm. I needed to get a new passport I was born in England that I knew and at the time back then, um, my parents were from Jamaica, and I, at the time, was not a citizen. You know, many people come to this country, their children are here, they, you know, they go through the process, they have, you know, what you call a green, green card. card yes. And um, at that time, so I needed to apply to go to, of all things, a family reunion. This was a family <laughs> reunion that was going to be held in Jamaica, and so I was all excited. My husband, my children, we were all going to go. 
and I applied for this, uh, you know, birth certificate to get the passport. And I'm like, it's getting close to time. I need to get it. Yeah. You know, I'm not thinking anything. Absolutely not. And um, <laughs> I get an envelope, you know, a, a brown envelope and these kind of caramel colored envelopes till this day, yeah. you know, for a while. Now I'm good. I <laughs> no, used to give me a little palpitation, palpitation when yes. I saw it. And yeah. I open it thinking, oh, good, I have the paperwork. I can, you know, get started with the process. And the paperwork says um, certificate of adoption. I think these people truly, <laughs> yes. uh, you know, these yes. wonderful the, British people with all their, you know, exa exactly. perfection and class yes. and style. I can be, uh, the lousy, making yes. a kind of a mistake kind of like mistake that. Mistake is that, is exactly. That to have and... Um, you know, to, to make a long story short, and originally I didn't believe it because this couldn't be. Yeah. I've lived with my mother and father whom I've known and yes. has been in my life, and, you know, I never had any inklings or hints of it. So anyway, I kind of threw some things out to her to kind of catch a vibe to see if she says anything because she lived right, you know, near me. And I said, oh, I applied for my, you know, birth certificate to get my passport today, and all she said was, oh, yeah? I say, oh, see, I know they're wrong yeah. because she would have yeah, had she would some, have some type some, of yeah. nothing. And what do you think was going on at that time? She didn't think that you would find out or what? I don't even know because I think if it was me, I would have been a little nervous. Like, yes. okay, what's happening? Or I, I'm not sure. Yes. But I returned to her later that night because that thing was really bothering me. On one hand, I didn't believe it. On the other hand, I say, how could they make such a mistake? Exactly. And I went up and I spoke with her and I said, Mommy, you know, the, I got some paperwork back because I hadn't told her that at the time. I had yes. just said I, I applied for applied it just to for get the... Yeah. And I said, I don't know why these people would send me something that says certificate of adoption. Why would they send me that? And she was sitting in kind of her favorite chair that she sits and she kind of slumped down like this. Yeah. And her body language just was speaking to me. And then she said, it's out now. Mm. And those words changed everything. Everything, everything. Wow, 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 wow. Viewers, this is no joke. This is no fiction. This is no fiction. Mm -hmm. This is a true life story, mm -hmm. you know. And um, we, today we want to highlight the story. Your story has gone far. Mm -hmm. It's gone wide. It's been featured in our uh, local newspapers, you know, mm -hmm. and even on Oprah, yes. you know. And so it has really gone far. And you've captured it in a book as well, yes. you know. But what was your objective behind kind of sharing your story so publicly and yes. so widely, yes. you know? Because I'm, I'm, I'm sure listeners, there's somebody out there that's watching this program and maybe have a, a secret, some kind yes. of family secret or yes. something that they're hiding, they're yes. keeping from their children, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you want to share how it impacts children, mm -hmm. how it, it impacts you looking back with hindsight, mm -hmm. what your mother could have done differently mm -hmm. to help somebody else be a better, better parent yeah. and to give them wisdom yeah. because this thing, like we said, doesn't come with a handbook. No. So what was the objective when, you know, I mean, because this is the kind of thing you probably would also want her to have keep hiding for the next generation and the next generation. And um, so, you know. Well, I mean, I know now and at the time, obviously, I was very upset and it was it, something very um, hurtful because yes. you feel as if your whole existence is not truthful, is a lie. Yeah. Um, but I know the intent at the time was to probably shield me. Yes. Um, I think there probably was some shame there. A lot of our communities, when you have secrets is a talk lot of to shame me. Talk involved. to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, shame. Shame and Secret. silence, they're oh. things that we don't want to hurt people, but in the long run, we end up hurting them because people are not comfortable dealing with their own issues, so they, they kind of shield things, saying, oh, they don't need to know, or when they get older, what happens is older never comes. Exactly. And then these things are passed on. So for me, if, and the question about sharing is, that's that handwritten version of the book, which yes. is about three quarters of it, sat on a shelf in my closet for many years because I wasn't ready to share. And I think a critical thing that I need to tell you and your audience, as I know you've read, but 
is that I was asked after she shared not to share it with anyone. Wow. So that was the, why yes. the title, Mom's, Mom's the, the Word. Word. So even after you were also sworn to secrecy, exactly. to continue to carry this thing in your heart, exactly. how heavy that must be. Yes, so um, it was, have, I'm have dealing been. with that, I'm trying to process that, and now I'm asked because she feels that she doesn't want anyone to know, in her words, that I am not her biological child. And you know, no one knew, so I think that whole shame and all of the things that she felt around that would resurface if I then started to let people know. Yes. You know, then everyone wants to know what happened and all of that, okay. so now uh, I have that let's burden. Talk there and let's talk about shame. I'm coming back. This is Inspired Success. If you're just tuning in, where I'm with um, Lon Lana Little, and she's the author of Mom's the Word. She's no stranger to inspired success or to the greater Hartford community. And this Mother's Day, um, you know, I wanted to glean wisdom from real life experiences. And um, let's talk about shame. Let's talk about shame mm. and stigma. Mm. You know, a lot of stigma, there are a lot of stigma and shame attached to so many issues, especially in our community, yeah. like having a child, being a single parent, for, um, for example, being divorced, for example, you know, struggling with your sexuality, for example. There are different things, um, you know, are stigmas still around these subjects and different issues that, does, that, that make people kind of hide you know, and carry a lot of burden emotionally, you know, tell me how counterproductive that is yes. for children or for, you know, yeah, children especially, mm -hmm. because like you were saying, that they're, they're, they're probably thinking they're, they're trying to shield or protect you, but where, whereas they are doing you more harm than good. Yes. And then also, you know, you're carrying all that burden and that shame, how does that such um, personally start impacting you as a person, yes. you know, the self-esteem yeah. and things like that. Well, let, let, let's talk about that. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole thing around shame and secrecy and, and all these things, basically, you know, we have a feeling that if these things, whatever they may be, become shared that our world is going to fall apart, mm. that our life is going to be ruined, yes. that people are going to think less of us. Yes. That's a lot that of where, it's, word, where the it foundation. is. Yes. And you know what? We spend a lot of time worrying about what people will think, and many of the times they're not even people that are very important to us. <laughs> exactly. And if someone truly loves you and cares about you and is there for you, when you reveal these things, you will be okay. Uh, and, the, and then it also for you, it makes you, you know, be, being authentic and yes. being real and being vulnerable. I think it actually mm. sometimes endears people to you. It does. You know, it makes you real. It makes you more relatable, you know. And, and for a, 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 an emerging mom watching this or a young parent, you know, or even an adult parent, mm -hmm. you know, watching this, I want you to understand that when your kids feel that they can relate to your pain, when you share your vulnerability yes. and real life issues and challenges in front of them, mm -hmm. and you, they see how you cope with that, you point. know, you're modeling strength for them. You're, you're giving them power. You're empowering them to know how to deal with life issues, you know, so we can't really protect, yes. really, you know. And I think that's so important is, um, you know, it's about showing that, like you said, you're authentic. I can tell you that since this book came out, I have had so many men and women, although mostly women, yeah. share stories with me of secrets that they have held for years. Exactly. People I in can front imagine. of me with tears yes. and feeling a release. Like freedom, I could physically freedom. see that freedom yes. and release of yes. stories and things yes. that they've held. Because guess what? Lorna went out and shared her story with the world, yes. and she's still standing. And matter of fact, now she is in papers and in magazines <laughs> exactly. and in Oprah's magazine. Yeah. So the things that you think will happen in, in a negative way, um, it's not true, but we've been led to believe. That is, and it, one of the things I really you know, want to say is that I really believe that you know, God will use the challenges and the things that we've gone through in our past yes. to help 
make a future better for someone else. Exactly, and which is why I wanted to do this show, and I wanted to bring you onto this show, you know, because, you know, your test, they say, becomes your testimony, and the, your mess becomes a message, you know, message of freedom. That's the other thing. Many women, many, many mothers are still in bondage. Yes. You know, they're still held captive with their fears and, and secrets and things like that, mm -hmm. and it could be anything at all, you know, but this is the time for you to really let it out of the bag, the cat out of the bag. Yes. You know, there's an adage that um, you know, someone was sharing with me recently about that the devil only thrives in in darkness, dark in dark places, mm -hmm. in darkness. And so he will continue to feast on your dark issues, the yes. issues you cover up. Yes. But once or you've brought it to light, you know, you disarm him, you yes. know, you disarm him. And so there's nothing new under the sun, nothing mm -hmm. new under the sun. There's nothing to feel ashamed about. You know, the best way to raise up children is with openness, you and know, with truth, a, yes. a truth yes. with a, authenticity, you know, with your vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. You hope open them, you empower them to be to be able to cope with life issues. And so, you know, in one of your your the chapters, you captured how you passed on your story to your children yes. because you're a mother as well, yes. you know. Yes. And so this thing had become, you know, would have become a generational thing. Yes. If somebody did, if you didn't have the courage to kind of nip it in the bud and say, okay, you honored your mom until she died and yes. kept it. And so this book wasn't released until then, after you know, died. until after she passed. But, you know, let's talk about that generational thing because we see it as well you know, where it passes on from generation to generation, all these family secrets, you know, and goes on from generation to generation, and they pass this cycle, you know, of shame, yes. of, 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 of pretense, yes. of, um, false you know, living. Fa false, falsehood, false, yes, yes. Yeah. falsehood, mm -hmm. and just kind of keep passing it and keep passing it, and somebody needs to break that cycle, break that curse, and say, you know, no, it stops with us, and live openly and uh, authentically, and so talk about how, you know, it was for you to now really take this and, and, and share it with your children. Children, because this is somebody as well that they had known to be their grandmother, yes. you know. Yes. Um, and then, um, you know, just talk about that. Talk about that. I know well, you that captured was, yeah, it. But yeah, but that, that was a challenge when it was time to talk to the children. But <laughs> let me tell you, in the middle of getting there is think about it. Now that I've learned that I have a birth mother, I had this huge search, which yeah. is a big part of the book. Oh, wow. Nobody, yeah. Where is she? Is she oh, even wow. alive? So did your mom not tell you? She did not know the details. Now remember, this is 30-something years later. Yeah, They're living in the U.S. We're living in the U.S. This wow. occurred in England. And they did there not was keep... No there was no, no... No, they did no. not. They just kind of yes. severed communication. So now here I am on this journey to search. Yeah. So I'm dealing with those emotions of finding... You know, I have no idea who this this biological mother of mine is. I don't know who I hail from. It doesn't make my mother that raised me any less. Yes. And that's I think sometimes the secrets around adoption come up because yes. is this child going to love me if this child knows that, you know, they weren't birthed mm, through me. That's mm. one of the things I think and the whole concept around, you know, surfaces in my book around infertility because come to find out my mother has some issues with fertility. Stop there. I just want to hold that thought there because, you know, this is inspired success by the way and this is really good stuff. Really good stuff. I hope you're taking notes this is the kind of show you want to watch over and over put save it on your DVR and play it to somebody and send the link somewhere you know I'm with my colleague and friend Lorna Little this is her book mom's the word you can find it and read her life story that's been featured on Oprah all our local newspapers and everything and um, it's an amazing story of how she came as an adult a young adult not a, quite even a young adult, mm -hmm. an adult yeah, in your yeah. early 30s, to find out that her mom, the person she'd known to be a mom, was not a biological mom, you know, and there was just all this secrecy around adoption. And I, I wanted to stop you there because, you know, it, 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 it is, I feel more so in our communities, as you mentioned 
um, about adoption and keeping the secrecy. I remember a friend of mine mm -hmm. recently, and I'll say recently 10, 12 years ago, you know, she adopted mm -hmm. a child mm -hmm. and, um, you know, and so I wanted to plan like a shower a shower baby, you yes. know, a shower yes. for her, yes. you know. So in the invitation, I wrote, you know, the dedication or shower of so-and-so's adopted child. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. She said, no, 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 no. She does not want to see anything about adoption in that mm -hmm. invitation. That we want, I, I should remove it. She's not going to talk. No, no, no. I'm like, you, you, she needs, the child needs to know, you know. She said, no, 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 you know. And so that got me thinking, you know, as you said, it, I honored her request. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I removed anything to do with adoption or about it on it. But um, it just brought me to this thing about, you know, the, the we're still coming back to this thing about uh, the shame around those kind of subject matters. Why the shame? Why do you think that exists? Why do you think people, you know, around the infertility, why do you think that and, exists? And, and, and I think that, at least in my mother's situation, yeah. in many situations, that's a part of it. Because people automatically will go to, well, then why did you have to adopt? They may not ask that question, but there's an assumption of starting to dig into mm. personal areas of your life. I, guess. I mean, think yes. about it. It's like yes. someone coming to you and asking you, what's going on with your womb? Yes. What's going yes. on with your sexual yes. life? Yes. You know I what guess, I mean? So, I guess so yes. it, it, it is, I'm, I'm not saying they should be, yes. people should be ashamed of adoption or any I, of that, but people don't realize the connection with the feelings that many people have. have yes. And it's a it's definitely a conscious choice. Some people, you know, are concerned that people will treat the child differently, which mm. is horrible. But I'm, that's why I make personally yeah, yeah. I make a big loving deal. Anytime I meet a child or a mom that is adopted, not treating them differently in 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 a negative way. Yeah. But that that child was so loved yes. that someone yes. wanted and that it, child to be a part of their life. Their but, lives, and they carry the love in their hearts yes, instead, instead of their of, womb. Yes. You know, they grow. Yes. the baby grew in their hearts. But okay, yeah, we go back to that because yes. I ju that what you said just reminded me of that. But I don't want us to lose yes. this very yes. vital one about how you pass that yes. on yes. to your to the next generation to your kids. So you here know? I am finding yes. this biological mother, which I was blessed to be able to find and I'm telling you there's some what I call ordinance that's yes. the word in my book <laughs> ordained incidents um, yes. not coincidence yeah for me yes. to find my needle in a haystack yeah I don't know, I know. her name wow. I don't know where she wow. is and to find her in England alive yes. so now I'm having this relationship with this mother yeah starting to know we're starting to know I sent her a letter I don't know if you know and she said one day I knew you were gonna find me Wow Wow so leading up to now, now I have this other grandmother yes. to share with my children. And I have not told them in all these years because my mom asked me to keep it. But I did have to tell my oldest daughter because look how God would have it that she was going over to England with her husband oh. who was in the Air Force. How could I and have a child in a half an hour of this <laughs> grandmother and not I tell not her? Share that so that was her. the first sharing mm. that occurred. There were many years between when it was time to share with my youngest. And daughter. how did they receive it? How for them in their generation, yes. you know, because they're a different generation. I can relate to our generation mm -hmm. with our mothers, mm -hmm. you know, because it's a different time it as is. well. You're it talking is. about the 60s yeah, here. Things were, yeah. yeah, things were a bit different now. But with this gen younger generation, it's a different culture. You know, and exactly. things are no big deals. Anyone is coming out of yes. the closet it's and things, and they're yeah. very open and authentic about their values and what they believe and their identity. So, but how did they, how did they handle but, it? But, but the, what, the word you just used actually, yeah. when you share with someone, just like it was shared with me yes. and it changes your whole identity of what you know and who you know you yes, are. Yes, and so does, I'm cha sharing some information with, this is my mother, this is my grandmother, but wait a minute, that is still my grandmother, but it's not my biological <laughs> yes. grandmother. And now it's this new person that I'm supposed to connect with. And I want to let people know that's not an automatic click and connection. Yes. And 
there's these words that f that are one of the reasons I believe sometimes people don't share is betrayal. Mm. So if I love and get to connect with this grandmother, yes, am I betraying, be betraying this, this other this grandmother? One. Exactly. And then what about the anger though? Was there any anger towards her? Um, or I think I, I had some you did. early on and just yeah. because I felt like why wasn't I told? Yes. And yes. that's why I'm glad I had let that book sit on the shelf because the anger dissipated yes, and the yes. love resumed yes, in a way and even yes. a greater love because, wow, you know. It was uh, taking a kind of woman for her to have yes, raised you yes. and she raised you well yes. she, with good ethics yes. and everything. She did a fantastic job. And, and a and, piece that's, yes. that's missing without going into the whole story is how I came about. Yes, you yes, know, yes. I come to find out that my biological father was my father, but yes. my mother was not my biological mother. So she dealt with a lot. But yeah. my daughter, my oldest daughter, dealt with it very well. Um, like I said, the piece for her was not the rush to connect. Yes. Whereas okay. I was more yes. like, I want to know everything. Yes. I want to learn, yes. you know. Yes. Um, and my oldest, my youngest daughter, you know, she's so sweet. She's asking me, well, how, this is like a, your life is like a lifetime movie. That was <laughs> our exact words. I said, I know. yes, it is. Um, but she dealt with it well. She had like a little single tear running down her face. Oh. Um, but time has you know we went and went on a vacation all together to meet her um i've gone to see her um just about almost every year over the past few years this year was the first year i hadn't gone uh we meet up in jamaica because uh, awesome. it's easier than going yeah, to England. Than England. I yes. found out I have siblings, which is wow. amazing because I Look grew up as an only child. Look at this happy ever after. You see, yeah. only God. We've come mm -hmm. to the end of yeah. the broadcast. You yeah. won't believe it. You won't believe it. You know you need to get a hold of this book because, <laughs> I mean, we haven't even done justice to yes. um, a tenth of what you captured here of her story and everything and the wisdom that can be gleaned from it. I think bottom line is about you getting free, mm -hmm. you know, be free, yes. be free, be free, be free. This yes. is Mother's Day, you yes. know, be free. Whether you're a man or a woman watching this, you know, you don't need to carry that burden. You yes. don't need to carry mm -hmm. that pain. You don't need to carry that shame, you know. Right. You can be free of it, mm -hmm. you know. Be open, you know, and, and share and be authentic. Yes. And it is more, of not only freeing for, for you, the individual, um, but it's free for your children, and, you know. And, and, and my book was to help empower yes. and inspire others e to whatever their issue of freedom exactly, is. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And so that is the bottom line. If Lorna could do it, you know, That's right. and share it so publicly and share it so nationally and internationally, you know, look at what God did with it. Yes. It turned her test to a testimony, exactly. you know. And so it doesn't matter what it is that you're hiding or you're feeling shame about, this is your time to let it go, be free, share your story, share your wisdom. Your own story exactly. is becoming somebody else's um, path to freedom. Yes. So it's been really great. I wish yes. we had more time, Lorna. Yes. It's just awesome, awesome. Always a pleasure Thank having you, you on so Inspired much. Success. Always an inspiration, Thank always you. a loving, Thank supportive you. woman. You know, you're doing amazing things. Thank and you. I really celebrate you. I celebrate God for you as well. I had a little you know. something for you, but oh, of really? course I, I, oh, I was going to say, I didn't so, see it. Oh, it's no. related to our topic. What oh, does it say? Love never fails. How appropriate. Love, love never, never fails. fails. That right. is it. Love never fails. Thank you so much, Lorna. And, you know, I'll be back next month. You know that I'll be back with another inspiring episode of Inspire Success. This is Princess Bola Adeliani reminding you to keep smiling. Hey, put your smile on your face. Life's too short. Keep learning. Keep networking. Keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye. Bye.